Hey everybody, Jordan here with 9to5toys. Today we're checking out the Blue Bird ANC wireless headphones from Bear Dynamic. Now typically when we're talking about wireless earbuds, you're probably thinking, you know, true wireless earbuds that just are cut off right here, just kind of the top of this. But as you can see, the Blue Bird ANC from Bear Dynamic has this neckband on it, which is a little bit of an older design. And there are some pros and cons to that design in my opinion. So let's dive in and check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Starting with the overall design, one benefit of this neckband kind of design is that you get inline controls on here. So that's where you're gonna have your microphone. Also, we're gonna have three buttons. There's a button in the middle. It's kind of a multi-purpose button that will take care of, you know, playing and pausing and skipping tracks. Also calling up your voice assistant. And then you have physical buttons for volume up and volume down. So you're not fumbling around with trying to do gestures or something like that on the side of a tiny true wireless earbud. There are two kind of larger parts this neckband as you can see, it's pretty thin around the back where it would actually, let me, let me get this the right way, where it would actually rest around your neck. And then there are these two kind of thicker parts here. And on the left side with that thicker part, there is one more button, which will handle the power, also put it in pairing mode. And over on the right side in this thicker part, we have a USB-C charging port. So it's not covered, unfortunately, it's just kind of an exposed port here. Um, but it is there, USB-C, so very easy to charge. And moving on to comfort, when you do have this around your neck, um, you know, when you first put it, put it on, maybe it takes a little bit of getting used to, but I found myself very quickly getting used to it. It's not a heavy piece. It just rests very simply on here. And then when you put the earbuds in, they actually fit really well in my ears. And Bear Dynamic does include five different ear tip sizes. So as you can see here, they come in this nice little organizer and they are silicone, every single one of them. There are not any foam ear tips in here. I do think that maybe they could benefit from a set of foam tips like the Compli ones. I'll link to some down in the description if you wanna check those out and see what they are. You can get them on Amazon for pretty cheap. But because these are ANC, earbuds and you know usually you're trying to block out as much background noise as possible i do think that some foam tips could help that we'll talk about anc a little bit more a little bit further on but as far as the actual fit and comfort i really like these i like them a lot more than the freebird earbuds that we also tested out from bear dynamic you can check out my review of those up here in the corner if you want to see what i thought about that i do find that i need to you know push them in quite securely and quite far into my ear canals to really get the best fit for the best sound, but that never caused any discomfort, you know, even when wearing them for a couple hours and also when exercising with them. And moving on to how do they sound? You know, on paper, it's a pretty impressive spec sheet here. A frequency response of 10 to 28,000 Hertz is well beyond the kind of 20 to 20 standard that we usually see with wireless earbuds. Additionally, it supports Qualcomm APTX adaptive, Qualcomm APTX, AAC and SBC codex. And altogether, it makes for a good sounding pair of earbuds. You know, I'm not gonna say that they're great sounding. And while they're not as silky smooth as the Excellento Remote, which is also from Bear Dynamic, when it comes to the mid-range vocals, once again, check out our review in the corner if you wanna see that, the Bluebird ANC has a well-rounded sound profile with a little extra kick in the pants thanks to some powerful bass. But even with the volume cranked up, the bass was never overly muddy and there was no distortion in vocals or instruments. Bass was delivered very clear and it was never overpowering. And while it's not gonna top the charts for soundstage and stereo separation, I was still able to distinguish all the different instruments in cluttered metal tracks like Missed by Protest the Hero, in more delicate tracks like Hotel California, the live on TV version, vocals were smooth and the instruments were also clear. So overall, like I said, it's not, you know, a crazy listening experience. It's not nothing that's really gonna, you know, take you by surprise and blow your socks off. Uh, but at the same time, they sound good. I really enjoyed running through my kind of testing playlist on Spotify that has a lot of tracks that I usually use, you know, across a lot of different genres. The full low end was a lot of fun to listen to, but it was never overwhelming like some other budget wireless earbuds can be. So overall, it's just a really well-rounded, fun listening experience. And that was all in the stock EQ setup. There are some different EQ settings that you can do, as well as a personalized sound profile. Now, the sound profile is something that, 
that, you know, if you have it connected to the app, like I had it on my iPhone, you can run through a sound test. And basically you're determining when you hear a series of beeps and noises and the app will create a custom profile that's supposed to be catered to your ears. So for me, it ended up, you know, really bringing up some of the highs and a little bit more of the lows. And that's not typically how I EQ my headphones. And so I didn't end up using it very much. I kind of would dial it in about halfway when I was listening to something that was a little bit poppier, like some Dua Lipa songs. But otherwise, I would kind of just turned that sound personalization off and just enjoyed the stock EQ. Additionally, there are different EQ modes like a bass boost, a vocal boost, a warm mode, and those make some tweaks to it. Once again, I didn't really care for those as much as just the stock EQ setup. And obviously with ANC in the name, you know, that's one of the main features here, but unfortunately it's not all that great on these earbuds, especially at that $150 price point. I found some cheaper, you know, more budget earbuds like the Earfun Air Pro 3s that we recently reviewed. Check out that review in the corner up here if you wanna see that. You know, those come in at like $70 MSRP, and I feel like those do ANC even better than what these Bear Dynamic earbuds do. And I'm not saying it just like doesn't work, but as far as, you know, how much it reduced background noise, I don't think that these uh, did as good of a job as other earbuds that I've tried. So of course, if ANC is one of your top priorities, you're gonna wanna look for a different pair of earbuds. You know, Apple's AirPods, the latest, you know, Pro Gen 2 is probably gonna be the best bet there. And the microphone sounds pretty decent. We mentioned it's in the inline controls here. We're recording on the voice memos app in my iPhone. And so hopefully this gives you a good idea of what it sounds like. And there are some pros and cons to this neckband design, one of which is just the battery life of the earbuds themselves is up to 14 hours. You know, typically with true wireless earbuds, you get a runtime between, you know, like six to eight hours for the earbuds themselves. And usually the charging case can extend that, but they do need to sit in the charging case for a little bit to recharge. So this does not have a charging case to, you know, extend the total life, but a 14 hour runtime is pretty good and it charges back up very quickly. I also really enjoy the fact that with these, you know, you can just quickly pull out an earbud and just, you know, let it dangle if you do have to talk to somebody. So for those who, you know, need to remove an earbud or, you know, take an earphone off quite often throughout the day, this is kind of a really beneficial design because it makes that very simple. You don't have to worry about, you know, finding a place to put your earbud down or worry about dropping it and losing it in the grass. Um, very simple, it's still comfortable. Um, so if you do find yourself removing an earbud quite often, I do think this is a kind of nice design for that. I was a little skeptical on how it would perform, you know, going for a run, just because you have something wearing on your neck here, but I actually found it to work quite well. There was very little movement and it wasn't any bouncing or anything like that when I was out for a jog. I did find myself adjusting the earbuds in my ear a little bit more than what I've done with some other true wireless earbuds, but overall it's an experience that I would definitely do again. I don't think it was a bad experience when I was taking these for a run. One last note on design, you know, the overall footprint is bigger than just what true wireless earbuds would be. The case itself is a little bit bigger, so it takes up just a little bit more room, but once again, you'll have to weigh that with, you you know, what you're looking for as far as features and how you use them throughout the day. So I do think there's a place and a benefit of this style of wireless earbud. There are pros and cons to, you know, true wireless and there are pros and cons to something like this. So you kind of have to just weigh how you're gonna use them, um, how often you need to remove them, I would say, what kind of run times you need and then you can just kind of make a decision on if this one is right for you. The comfort is there, the sound quality is there, ANC is kind of halfway there, I'd say. So really you just need to decide at that $150 price point, are these features what you're looking for in a pair of wireless earbuds? But if you are looking for something a little bit more affordable, definitely check out the Earfun Air Pro 3. Check out a review in that corner. Very affordable pair of true wireless earbuds that perform really well for the price. All right, and that's gonna do it for our review of the Bear Dynamic Bluebird A. ANC wireless earbuds. Let us know what you think about them down in the comments below. And if you're looking for some other videos to watch, I'll link to our review of the Excellento remote from Bear Dynamic, which was really cool, as well as our most recent video. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so others can find it easier and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.